Hi everyone and welcome to uh, the research methods class at Landry University. Um, my name is Dr. Sarah Bowie and I will be your instructor for this course. You can read more about me and my background and my interests um, within Blackboard if you click on the about your instructor I think is the name of the link on the left hand side. Um, but just suffice to say, I'm super excited to learn with you this summer. I know that educational research is not everyone's cup of tea. Um, I know it's not an exciting kind of um, topic for most people, uh, but I really think we've done a good job at Lander in creating a course that, yes, is about educational research. And hopefully it's going to make it relevant to you within your context. Um, I would say that my goal for this course, and I've taught this course at um, a couple of other colleges, it, my goal for this course is that not only will you be able to have the opportunity to research a topic that is of particular professional interest to you, I also want you to leave this class being a more well-informed consumer of educational research. Because quite often, teachers are one of the only one of the only professions where research is constantly thrown at us and we might not always have all the tools in our toolbox that we need to really understand that research or be able to critique that research you know we'll be given a, a new textbook or a new curriculum or a new program and they'll say well it was well researched i want you to be able to say well let, let's look at that research and really determine um, its strengths its weaknesses its gaps um, and become an advocate for yourself and for the students that you serve um, when you have things that are that are said that they're well researched. That's my goal for you in this course. Hopefully, by the end of it, you'll understand educational research a little bit more deeply so that you're able to do that. Okay, so I am going to adjust this so that you can kind of sort of see me, but that you can also mostly see the syllabus, um, which I sent to you prior to course beginning, so hopefully you've been able to review it. Um, so this, this video really is just a quick overview of the course and the syllabus because the fact that we don't meet together, um, people always have questions about the syllabus and better to go ahead and be proactive and make a video explaining some of the parts that people typically have questions about. Um, so I'm not going to read all of this just to keep you, but I will, um, remind you that because it is summer, I don't keep regular office hours, but I'm always available to meet with you, whether it's online or by phone, you just need to email me and we'll set up a time to chat. Um, and you can see my email is listed right there. So we have um, the, the textbook for this course has actually been uploaded into Blackboard for you in each module. So there is no text to purchase. Uh, for this course, we've been able to, to provide that for you. So it is Cresswell's Education Research text. Um, it's the fourth edition that we've been able to use here. Um, keeping in mind that as far as communication, I will use Blackboard to email. I'm going to say that again because every course I teach, someone tries to email me from their school account or their personal account. That, that just gets way too overwhelming to try to track. You are a Lander University student, so I will you utilize Blackboard in order to send emails, whether it's to you as one student or to the entire class. So you need to be checking your Lander email regularly because your Lander email is what is connected to Blackboard, not your school or your personal email. So just keep that in mind that if you try to email me from your personal account or from your school account, um, I will probably reply to your, oh, I will, I probably, I will reply to your Lander email so that we can really get in the um, groove of using your Lander email. Um, and then you can see when I typically respond to emails, I've, I've really tried to get out of the habit of having my email on my phone for things like this so that I'm not tempted to immediately reply when I see one come through. I'm not saying that I don't still kind of fall into that, but I'm really trying my best to um, keep a balanced life. And so typically you're going to hear me from eight to five during uh, the week when it comes to emails, unless it's an emergency. Um, so I'm going to skip all this because you can read over all of this on your own, but we will go through the course assignments. There will be weekly discussion boards, which take the place of us meeting in person for class. So you do have to be an active participant within those discussion boards. Um, because that's the way that we're going to communicate with one another regularly. So 
this course views all of us as learners. That's why I started this video saying I'm excited to learn with you this summer um, because you're all experts in areas that I am not an expert in and I'm an expert in some areas that you're not an expert in. So hopefully we can all learn from one another. And that is shown through the discussion board by you posting original posts, but also replying to your classmates. And you'll see within Blackboard uh, where it states you are expected to reply to two classmates and for those to be thoughtful replies and we, we flesh out what that really means. You will also have weekly articles. Um, you will be ex expected to post access, either a PDF or a link, to an article each week that is related to the topic that you select. So when you start this course and you'll see within the modules, you are going to select a topic that is important to you as an educator. And that can be anything you want. Think about a topic that keeps you up at night when you're thinking about your role as an educator. Um, and that usually is, is a great choice because then you're already really invested and passionate about it. Um, and I've had a wide range of topics that students have picked from discipline in schools to the use of small groups in high school science. I mean, it has run the gamut. So any kind of topic you want, but that topic is going to drive the weekly articles that you submit every week, which then will feed into the literature review, which is your final project. So let's say that my topic is, um, uh, let's say mine is uh, the, uh, sorry, I'm coming up. I have like four different ideas come into my head. The efficacy of after school programs. Maybe that's my topic. You know, how effective really are after school programs on students' academic achievement? Okay, so that, that, that's what I'm going to look for as far as when it comes to articles. And then you're going to submit a citation of that article and a paragraph summary of that article every week using APA style. And so these weekly articles that you collect will then feed into the literature review that you do at the end of the week. And believe me, you have guidance within your modules to explain to you, you know, how to find these articles, um, what that looks like when you're citing them in APA. Um, I created this course with two other um, Landry University professors, and so you'll see all of our faces within those modules. Um, so don't be surprised when you click into a module and you say, oh, <laughs> that's not Dr. Bowie. No, <laughs> that might be um, two of my colleagues, um, but we all have really worked hard on making sure that we walk you through this process of citation and finding research and writing a literature review. So weekly articles, and all that is is just, hey, here's the access to it. Here's the PDF, or here's the link, as well as the citation and just a, a quick summary, like three to five sentences. That's it. So that's every week. And that's to make sure that you're building your repertoire of, well, not repertoire, you're building um, the, the toolbox that you have of weekly articles that will then end in your literature review. So you're not waiting till the end of the semester to suddenly find, you know, 10 articles on a certain topic because that's just not an efficient way to do it. Um, another ass assignment will be your article reviews. Um, you're going to select two articles. And they can be the ones within your, your weekly article. doesn't have to be something extra. Um, related to your topic, again, if my topic was how effective are after-school programs on academic achievement. Um, so you're going to find two articles, one quantitative and one qualitative research study from a peer-reviewed journal, and you're going to write a review. And again, we, we walk you through what that looks like um, and provide you lots and lots of support of what an article review um, looks like. So if you think about it, the weekly articles, it's just a quick paragraph for each one. And then you choose two of those weekly articles, one quan and one qual um, from a peer review journal to, to delve more deeply into. Your final assignment is a literature review. Um, you will write a thorough review of the literature on that topic that you have chosen. You're going to do it from a minimum of 10 peer-reviewed journal articles. Seven need to be current research within the past five years. The other ones can be older if you'd like. And then we're going to, again, utilize APA. And we provide exemplars for you to see what literature reviews look like. We provide tutorial videos for each part of the literature review so that you feel supported in writing each part. Um, but those are your main assignments. So pretty, pretty uh, not, I wouldn't say easy, but at least concise. You don't have you know, eight different types of assignments for this course. You really just have four different assignments for this course. 
Um, you'll see how you are evaluated for each one of those within this, uh, as well as the grading scale. So let's look at the timeline real quick. Um, so you'll see that we start with what we call module zero, which is your week one, where you'll read Cresswell chapter one, and then you'll have your discussion board due and your weekly article due. And you can see that continues for every single week, because every week you are going to have discussion boards due and a weekly article due. Because remember, we're building up this bank of articles that will help you write your literature review. Um, you'll see in week three is when we have the article one review that is due. Remember, that's a more in-depth dive into one of the articles that you find. Um, and then you'll see week four, article two review is due. So one quantitative, one qualitative article review due. Um, you'll see um, in week uh, four and five, you double up on your discussion boards. So we, we do a little bit more on those weeks, but you don't have article reviews due for those weeks. And then at the very end of um, our time together, you have your literature review due. So pretty cut and dry. Um, every assignment you'll see is due at 11.59 p.m. Um, when it comes to late assignments, I can't remember, I don't believe we put that in here. Um, my, my personal belief is that it's all about balance. So we are opening this entire course to you. All the modules are open, so you can work at your own pace. It's summertime. If you want to fly through and get as much done in the first two weeks, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you want to take your time and still do it just week by week, that's fine too. And if some of you are traveling and have emailed me about that, so you're trying to get the work done more quickly, and, and that's fine as well. Um, and keep in mind that professors are people too, and we have lives as well. So in the past, when I've had students email me, oh, Dr. B, my assignment's going to be late. Um, the amount of grace I, I provide within that situation is directly related to how, one, the situation, and two, how much lead time I'm given. So keep in mind, this is an online course. Com hard drives fail, computers crash, like those things happen. So you need to be prepared for those kinds of technical um, issues that might come up. However, if you have a death in the family, you have an incredibly sick child, you yourself fall sick, you know, all these other things, just email me as soon as you know that you're gonna have an issue. Because if you wait until the day before or the night before or 11.39 when it's due in 20 minutes, um, outside of you know just things happening at that time, I have a lot of students that just kind of wait to the last minute and then expect me to provide extra time for them. Um, just the, just keep in mind that's a, that's a relationship. You provide grace to me by giving me adequate time to know that you're going to turn in something late, and then I can provide that grace to you of saying, okay, and I won't take off points. Um, but if it continues to be a theme or a pattern of late assignments, then we might have to meet and talk and figure out what's going on to keep things coming in on time. Because remember, due dates aren't there as a bad thing for you. They're there to, to help me to grade on time and to help you to get your um, assignments done on time. But I also know that learning is not always time-based and that things happen, which is why we've opened the entire course to you. You have all the modules at your disposal to complete uh, you know, as you'd like, but that the deadlines are still there to help us out. So if you have any questions about that, you know, just let me know. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. If you have questions, you just need to email me as soon as possible so that we can set up a time to talk or chat about uh, the questions that you have. But it is a pretty cut and dry course. Um, and I look forward to uh, learning with you all this summer. So talk to you soon.